Good morning. It's me, Mikey Pipes, an Air Force Nun. Happy Monday, July 11th. Ooh, 7 11. Ooh. Ooh. Is today free Slurpee Day at 7-Eleven? I think it is. I don't know. 7-Eleven, if you're watching, hope you're promoting free Slurpee Day at 7-Eleven. Let's find out. We're on our way to Oceanside this morning for this morning's install. We are taking out an older R22 central air conditioning system and putting in, you guessed it right, ladies and gentlemen, the ultra-efficient and most amazing system in the world, the Bosch IDS 2.0. We're giving them a four ton system. It's gonna be sick, sick, sick. It's gonna be tits. Tits, ladies and gentlemen. So stay tuned, stick around, and maybe we'll all learn something from one another today. If you ain't guessing, you're testing. All right, take two. If you're guessing, you ain't testing. I get it right now? I sure did. It's Monday. Yeah. And I'm not hungover. No. Nope. Didn't drink yesterday at all. I'm actually on a diet until Friday. Until Friday. Or until the weekend, because we're going to the Hamptons this weekend. Friday afternoon. No, fr after yeah, Friday. Yeah. Friday after, yeah. We'll take the cars out in the Hamptons. All right, guys. Stick around. All right. Full disclosure 741. Here it is. Looks like a thermo. Thermo King. Oh, it's close. Thermal Zone. There we have it. That's a four ton, 2013 R22. We're gonna take out this decrepit disconnect panel. We're gonna put in that nice circuit breaker panel in instead. It sucks because the different orientation of the not different orientation, different size, overall dimensions of this disconnect. It's existing and the new one. We're gonna take out the line set that looks, they even made a little oil trap there. Oh, how nice of them to do that. <laughs> we're gonna take out the line set covers, throw us in the garbage and a new line set to the air handler. Wait until I show you upstairs in the attic. It really, really, really is ideal working conditions. And, and after taking my class in South Carolina, I realized that there's an, actually an OSHA law. There's an OSHA law that states when you're working in an attic, you need to have 24 inches of plywood on the floor to get to the equipment. 24 inches. And they've been telling me this for a long time on YouTube, the community. Like Mikey Pipes, you should keep some plywood in the truck. You can sell OSHA compliant uh, flooring. Who knew? Learned a lot on Friday. We're going to the front. We're going to the front. All right, we got our drop cloths in place. This is going to be our point of entry and re for removal and install of the new air handler. And let's see what's going on in here. Up the stairs. Let's find the light switch. Is that the light switch? No. Where is the light switch? Oh, there it is. Okay, you ready for it, guys? Oh, you ready, sword. Here we go. Bow. <laughs> Bow. Look at this. Not only do we have plywood, we have gym mat floors. <laughs> All right, game plan here, ladies and gentlemen. We're taking out the air handler, which is 240 volts. Removing the line set, the control wiring, the condensate drain pan. We are eventually going to replace the flex. However, since we can't get any flex, flex is on nationwide shortage, can't get flex anywhere. I ordered 12 eight inch flexes. I got one delivered on Friday, one. So ductwork overall, very nice. You know, we have steel, rectangular ductwork with takeoffs with round insulated um, branches off our main plenum. So fortunately, ductwork looks phenomenal. All right, there's all the ductwork. 
sweet 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 and as you can see we have a full floor we don't have a floor over there by the line side as you can see all right but we'll we'll be all right okay air force nun is removing the filter return grill and we're going to push this off to the side i'm going to start disconnecting this stuff here the circuit breaker is off for the air handler at the main panel and it's also off to the outdoor condenser which is on that side all right so my return box filter grill box is gone i use the uh the cat's paw as you can see right there and the hammer because not only was it screwed in with screws they also put a few nails into this so i used the cat's paw and the hammer got those nails out and since they put in the air conditioning after the sheetrock was installed the flange on the uh, filter grill box was resting on the face of the drywall sheetrock all right, now we have 16 inch flex here. And when flex becomes available, we are going to replace this piece of flex here with R8 or better. And we'll throw in maybe a new 90, but we'll probably just put a new takeoff right on top of the filter grill box and go from there. Okay, now we're gonna start taking this thing apart. Maybe we'll do a time lapse. But before, before we get started with that, very creative. Very, very creative with the, uh, the use of cardboard as a filler for the return plenum box. <laughs> very, very creative and ju. Uh, it, it, was it ingenuitive? No, what's the word? Um, yeah, ingenuitive. Ingenuitive. You know, making the best, making lemons, lemons. No, making, making lemonade. lemonade with lemons. In this case, they made a piece of sheet metal with a piece of cardboard, wrapped it with silver tape. Epic. Okay. We're going to take the panel off, disconnect the electric, and start tearing this panel apart. Sound like Peter? Sounds like Peter. Okay. So, supply plenum is disconnected. Can you grab the Sawzall real quick? Yeah, grab one. Full disclosure. Oh, Return nice. is removed. Blower's gone. We're going to cut the threaded rod up and out of the way. Um, wow, look at this. Yeah, I know. Damn. They just shoved it in there. They just rammed her in there. They rammed her in there, Peter. Say hi, Mom. How's it going? <laughs> wow, that's how you talk to your mom. How's it going? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. What's up, Ma? Sup? Sup? S U P. Sup? Sup, Ma? Sup, Ma? With the C E. Where's dinner, Ma? Yeah. Now you get his ass. Taco like Bell. Bell. He's Taco Bell all day long. Uh, we, how are we recovering? Oh, good. Yeah, he's still recovering. Oh, okay, still recovering. So, all good. Okay, very good. Cut the thread right out of the way. Top Air Force bottom. None. Start the top. Work. Started from the bottom. Now we're here. Saw it from the bottom, now the whole team effing here. Let's give a huge shout out to our people at Bosch, corporate sponsor of the channel. Hashtag, let's go Bosch, ladies and gentlemen. And if you want a magical pipe wrench, right now, during this live premiere, make sure you smash that dollar sign and show some support. As little as 99 cents will earn you a magical pipe wrench next to your name. And hashtag, love Bosch. You can do it. All right, well, Air Force Nun, a.k.a. Christian Dyack, is cutting out the threaded rod. As you can see, we have some frost forming on our line set. This is happening because we're doing through the recovery process right now, and the temperature of that refrigerant is much lower than the temperature that's in this confined space, a.k.a. attic. So it starts to condense, and because the pipe is colder than 32 degrees, it's freezing up, and that's the sense of the frost. Learn something new every day.
gentlemen, the air handler is no longer supported by some bootleg, really Rube Goldberg threaded rod that they just threw on there. They just hacked this thing together. All right, now, as soon as the, yeah, let's cut, let's get rid of the rest of the threaded rod. All right, and then as soon as the recovery process is over with, we're gonna start cutting out the line set and we'll send it down through the hole. Will it fit through here though is the question. I wonder, I wonder. Let me take my handy dandy tape measure. All right, let's take my handy dandy tape measure. All right, and let's take a quick little measurement here. Our opening. Looks like to be right around 21 inches. And Let's see where the height is here. We have, ooh, 19 and three quarters. 19 and three quarters. Technically speaking, this air handler will fit through this opening. The attic stairs. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. And let's remember to give special support to our corporate sponsor, Bosch Thermal Technology. Hashtag, let's go Bosch. Daniel. Yeah? Are you done recovering? Yeah. Good, we're gonna cut out the line set now. Good job. All right, you heard him. Let's cut the line set out. Towels for the uh, evaporator. I mean, not the evaporator, the internal drain pan. Because I've got some. Yeah, go ahead. Cut. A little bit of oil. Good. All right, now we'll cut this out in its entirety while Peter is grabbing some towels to soak up the water from the pan. And I'd like, to, uh, I'd like to give our thoughts and prayers to the other Mike. The other Mike, Mike G. Poor Let's guy. a moment of silence for Mike G. So we're gonna, put our, we're gonna put our heads down for a minute. We're gonna give a moment of silence to Mike G. Unfortunately, he finally, finally, and this is the Pipe Doctor Company history. He is the first employee to take a sick day off due to China. China? China. Oh, China. May he have a refuel shalim, a speedy recovery. We'll put our heads down for another minute. Our thoughts and prayers are for a speedy recovery. Because we need him back work tomorrow. <laughs> you know, it's funny. You know, he's got a little bit of China in him, but... No, he had some China. Oh. But he's been in a lot of China, you know. He's been in a lot of China. his kids and his ex-wife. <laughs> okay. Or he's Vietnamese, I don't know. What, what was, what no, was she said Ori well, Asian. She's Oriental. Asian. We don't know if it's China, but we know where the China virus came from. And that's Wuhan. 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 Oh, the wet market. Okay. Air Force None. How far back? All the way out. All the way out? Yeah. You don't have to go all the way back. I would stop there because we could pull up the rest from outside. The line set. But let's just cut up in small little sections. That way we can dispose of it properly. And put it right in the side of the shop next to the, the Mongo pile. Mongo. That's where all the scrap copper goes. Only once a year I cash it in, I walk away with bank and I go to like South Korea. So Peter's got some some rags and some towels. Just shove, shove that in there. Peter, he could have went to the left. Look, there's a big opening there, see? <laughs> shove that towel in there. Let's soak up, so, soak up some of that water. It's better for it to be on our towel than onto the nice drop cloths and the hardwood floors. We need to fix, there's a gap there, by the way, gentlemen, between the bedroom and the hallway drop cloths. Make sure we fix that. You're not gonna, yeah, get as close as you can to over there without doing He's more harm pulled. than good. What? He's already pulling. Oh, so, so cut there so it's easy to pull. Cut right in front of you. Got it, Chris? Here's the contact for Chris Dyack. Okay, good. Well, that's in there. Leave the towel in there. Yeah. Okay. Now, Chris is going to bring the, the, the sawzall. We're going to cut the little stub bouts right there. Okay. All right, just so easier... Easy to get it up out of here. We're gonna go through this hole. It fits. Yeah, just pull on all that. Okay. And 
and it's 8.15, ladies and gentlemen. Take the coil out if you want, sure. that down to Air Force now. Let's take a look inside that coil. Uh, too late. Okay. And the evaporator coil is gone. All right. Now, let's get rid of the rest of the debris, especially the air handler. goes the emergency drain pan goes which wow seen better days that's why i like using the goliath high-rise pan which you see in all of my all of our ac installation videos by the way i'd like to thank the community i do my best to upload a video seven days a week it gets it was hard to do that you know sometimes during the day i'll I'll record three or four videos and save them up for the days that either I have off, I'm away, on vacation, away on business. You know, so unfortunately this past weekend, I was off on Thursday, Friday. I don't work on Saturday and I didn't work yesterday. So four days, I posted the video like, uh, what? Oh. Like I posted that, uh, the, jo the knock knock joke with Putin and B Biden and I'll play that right now. Knock, knock. Ah, who's there? Putin. Ah, Putin who? Put my foot up your ass. Come on, guys. You know you want to laugh. Knock, knock. <laughs> but I really want to thank the entire community you know we are almost at 41,000 subscribers and I value the feedback from everyone you know all that stuff so I want to give a big huge shout out to all the viewers and especially the subscribers thank you it means a lot to me all right as you can see Peter is manhandling the old cabinet of the air handling unit Anyone down there for you? Uh, okay. And the objective here is, this looks like a nice workspace here. I'm thinking we'll put the high rise pan right here and with our vibrating pads and rest the Bosch IDS 2.0 air handling unit right here. I'm gonna keep a close eye on those wires right there. All right, make sure that's old anyway but we have to keep a close full eye on everything we don't want to damage anything and if need be we'll hang it on threaded rod all right if you want to go down there i'll hand it to you or okay. wait for chris i'll do whatever chris oh there he is oh no nope Go down there. We'll be rolling. Rolling. Riding. Good. Drop your end down. You got it? Yep. In its entirety? Yep. Let me help you move all the way down there. Good. Head down. Head up. All right. Position yourself. Let's get ready. Easy peasy. All right. It's air handler insertion time. This is Mikey Pipes with Mikey Pipes News Network. How do you feel? I feel like I'm not getting paid enough. <laughs> Look, you getting paid at all. Oh! Okay. 
Okay. Ready? We're just brute forcing it up there. Yeah, you're gonna. You stay there. You stay there. You both lift up from the bottom, and then we'll go with that away with it. Which way? This way. Yeah. So the back side will slide against that because we have some plywood there. Okay. All right. I remember hashtag, ladies and gentlemen. Hashtag, let's go Bosch. What are you hitting, Daniel? That corner right there. Of oh, the bag. You can take the bag off. Don't destroy the ceiling, okay? Just try to pull it towards you. I'm hitting the beam. You're hitting the beam. Oh, oh hold on. We're hitting sheetrock here. Yeah, you're hitting the beam. Oh, yeah. Okay, you're good. Minimal. I'm vertically challenged. You got the whole thing? Push it towards you, pull it. There you go. go. Excellent. And look at that. My boy, you know. You got a little bit of dust in your head. But you did it. See, and we saved 20 minutes by not using the hoist. Yeah. The attic hoist. All right, time for some time-lapse video. All right, now we're going to flip the coil around because our drain is in the top right-hand corner. And we need it down there. So we're going to flip the whole coil over. And when doing so, the position of the line set connection is now going to be on top. Because here's my discharge side, and that's my return side. And now the front cover is off. We're going to take off the screws right there, one there and one there. We're going to remove the wire from the, uh, the suction side. Sorry, the, the liquid side right before the TXV. There's a little uh, temperature sensor there, a uh, thermo, what the hell, thermals, what the hell? Thermistor. Thermistor, thermistor. So we're gonna carefully cut the zip tie that's holding that wire. I'm gonna pull that out. And we had that little and that was the nitrogen charge that came with the factory. Daniel's gonna reinsert that so you don't get any contaminants into the evaporator or non-condensables. Put that wire to the side. And now we're gonna just bring this a little bit closer so we clear. And Daniel's got this. Okay. I'm just gonna flip it 180 degrees. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen. Just like that. Good. And now we're going to line up into the other tracks on the left side of the compartment. Ah, I missed it. Right there. Oh, you got to pull up. Ah, get in there. There you go. What are you hitting? This side. Okay. All right, we're hitting that. Okay, good. Perfect. And that's all she wrote, folks. The only thing we need to reattach is that thermosistor to the connection right there and then re-secure the clips back on to the air handle. As you can see, we took out the blower. We're gonna reassemble that. And that's just to make sure it's lighter and it's easier for us to get it up here and manhandle that beast. Ain't that right, Air Force None? By the way, you, got, you slacked off yesterday with the, uh, the cock riding challenge. It took me around like around 10 seconds to get up there this time down. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you were feeling a little ill. Yep. Yeah. Is this the flu? Thank the, the common cold and the flu still exist. Yep. Yep. So, our thoughts and prayers are for Mike's speedy recovery. He is home. He is uh, just feeling a little bit under the weather. Just a little under the weather. 
probably smoking a pack of cigarettes anyway a day. Two packs. Two packs. Yeah, two packs. Oh, 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 oh. Special ed. Sped. Did you say special ed, by the way? Yeah. You did. Were you a special ed? I actually was, yeah. You were? Yeah. <laughs> did you take the little school bus to school? Well, we all took little school buses. Oh, because you went to Catholic school. We called it... They called it resource room. Ah, you had resource room in in, in private school too. We got extra time for tests. Ah, uh, because your special needs. Everybody called it retard room. Yeah. You know that if I tell the uh, PSI, they're the test administrators for a lot of licensing throughout the United States. If I tell them I'm special needs, they'll give me special more time and like a and, and a, a proctor, my own proctor, to help me take my test. By the way, yeah. and by the way, the test is no joke. By the way. But every time I, I open up the, the sample the sample test for the South Carolina Master Plumbers and the HVAC um, tests, sample tests, I'm like, listen, if thousands of people can pass this test, oh. I'm no different. Oh. But I did learn a lot on Friday. I took the Paul Calvo. HVAC uh, practice. Uh, green fly I see on the light? Oh, mother. Yeah, there is. Get the, there's a green fly up here. It's $100. I, did I get him? No. no. You didn't get him. Where'd he go? He's on the light. Now he's like oh, running yes. buck wild. Oh, shit. He's up there. We're going to get this green fly. I don't know if I can You're going to let him bite you? No. You don't actually get 100 bucks. See where he went? Probably landed on my neck. Gnawing at it. Something He's hit me in the, the arm, truck. and I figured it was like dust. No, oh, it was a green fly. Goddamn green flies. All right. That looks really, really nice. Get you down below and see everything in there. Everything worked out perfectly. Let's supply plenum. Oh. Okay. Perfectly. I got the mastic tape wrapped around all of my flanges. I'll show you the wiring in a minute. In my return, very, very nice. All my sides, my bottom and far side, all looks perfect. <sighs> very, very nice. He's learning. And when we have some more 16 inch flex, We'll replace that as well. Okay. We'll put back our plenum box. I mean, sorry, our filter, uh, filter wheel box. We'll put that back shortly. Let me show you the wiring. I have my line voltage, 22240 coming in. I have a new box. I have a new switch, two pole switch. All right. And my line, all right. Oh, I reversed it. <laughs> the line goes there, and the load is there. Doesn't make a difference, just for identification purposes. And I'm gonna hook up my ground. We'll pigtail them together to the inlet side of power here. So it has two legs of 110 volts, L1, L2. There's our ground bus. So I'll show you how I do that in a minute, and then we'll do our low voltage field wiring and get this blower on. All right, there's our switch. As you can see, my line and my load, and my grounding wire, I made a little pigtail with a grounding wire nut. So I have my original ground and I have the ground going to the air handler. This is my two wire, two conductor Wago 221s right there. And that's gonna be our 220 volt line coming in. Two lines of power, L1, L2, L1, L2 respectfully. And then I'll go over low voltage wiring with you next. Let me secure this to the new box I put in. I wrapped some electric tape around the terminals to prevent any shorting. So let's secure that to the box, put the plate on, and then go to low voltage. All right, we're working on thermostat wire. There's three, four right there, and there's one there. What color is the thermostat insulation? What? 
look at. I'm look. What, what color is the insulation on the wiring itself? Is it like a cloth white? Yeah. Can you pull on it? Um, I think that they're all tied together. Do you see my light? Look inside the hole. You don't see it. How about now? Okay, you see any light now? No light, huh? Okay, looks like I gotta go down there. You have this white wire, and here's the brown wire. The white wire. Brown is what? Let's connect to the brown. Looks like we have a black wire. Green. Oh, so the brown wire is our air handler. And this is our boiler. The brown wire, hopefully, hopefully I can fish a new wire with this. How many wires are here? Only three. Are you just gonna? I'm gonna, to, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna try to pull the brown wire. This wire is not getting touched. There's the brown wire, right here. Yeah, but it's, I think it's wire nutted. I mean, it's probably stapled. Look inside that hole, you don't see my light? How about now? Yeah. You see that, huh? Yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna have to play a game of Let's fish it through the hole. You know, Pipe told me to grab the tripod as he's swaddled like a little baby over there. This in the is what happens when, you're, when your clients watch your YouTube channel. They know what kind of water you drink. It's true. Aquapana. Pipe told me to grab the tripod and in basic, we, we had a guy named Tripod. That's because he had a third leg to stand on. <laughs> Why did you say third leg? <laughs> <laughs> you spit up there a little bit, Pipe. Burp the baby. <laughs> I was trying to blow bubbles. <laughs> Who's bubbles? <laughs> you know who bubbles. You know. You know very well who bubbles is. <laughs> trying to pull line set through that hole. It's all the way up there. Right over there. Oh, it's, oh almost. Do a bottle at hold me. Hold on that, hold on. Oh. Peter, Daniel, you ready for me? Let's see here. Okay, hold on. Let's see if we can put the tripod down. Get a all right. Live action. Make sure you put a little bend on it. That's what Brianna said. Oh. Oh, Brianna. Oh, oh. Show me your O face. She wants to see your O face, Daniel. What? Oh. Just like they teach you in Catholic school. Put a little bend on it. I thought they told you to don't ask oh, questions almost. in Catholic school. Almost. I, all right. Hold on. 
It's a tripod up. It is a... Is it recording? Yeah, here, hold on. Let me see if I can get a better angle. Do you have the pro? Can I zoom out? Let's see. No. Yeah, you can. Oh. What's up with the air handle? All right, hold on. You get, yeah. He's taking off insulation, so you have a water. Right. You're going on a trip. See ship from over here, but all right, whatever. Oh. Then we should use the pipe wiper. No more. Right there. All right. All right. I'd say maybe another, maybe another foot or two. Maybe another foot, Daniel. So we got maybe some. Maybe another foot. There you go. Okay. Have Peter bring up the insulation. Trip. Okay. We'll grab the insulation. Oh. Oh, pipe. It's me. Mikey pipe. F and pipes. You sleeping on the job? Always. <laughs> Always. <laughs> but you know what? You know what I, I am gonna know. What time is it? Not even ten o'clock yet. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, oh, let me get it again. Let me see if I get the camera. Let's see. You know what I do know? It's it's five to ten. And you know what two o'clock. You know where I'm gonna be? In the pool. I think we can get it done before then. Oh, we're gonna be done in another two hours. But yeah, easily. Yeah. Are they putting up the the rest I don't of know it? what they're doing? I don't know. I know that Peter's coming up with insulation. We're gonna get a wrap it that, that end. Push all the way to me. What are you doing down there? I don't know what he's doing. Where's the uh, the three eighths at? It's next. It's next. The three eighths is gonna come with the thermostat wire. Mm. You're definitely gonna have some uncut raw footage here. Yeah. Yeah, six minutes. Oh, right now. Yeah. Oh, it's still rolling. Yeah, it's still rolling. Put it on oh. here and feed it towards yes. Us. See what Peter's doing. Peter. What? Give us a recap of what you're what you're doing. Say it louder. Look at that. He knows how to handle some black black pipe insulation. Yeah. Slide in there. Make sure you lick it before you stick it, Peter. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he said okay. He's learning. Help him. This is like a glorified cameraman making fifteen dollars an hour. House of Horrors. Oh yeah, look at the black snake is coming for me. No. Hold on, hold on, let's get, get oh, a nice. Go away. Can't really see it. Oh, there it is. 
We need some. We need some light over there. There you go, right there. We can't see the pipe doctor sleeping on the job. First, you're gonna have to go close to the middle. All right, hold on. Eh, just kill the recording. Kill it. Kill it. Right there. That's perfect. Right there. I'm looking at you. Have you smashed that thumbs up button yet? Why not? Why haven't you smashed the thumbs up button yet? Hmm? Do it now. Tell him. Do it now or no more Mikey Pipes for you. That's right. Mikey well, Pipes will come for you in the middle of the night. Yep. Like you don't, a big bad wolf. You don't hit that. The red riding, red riding hood. All right. You like your kneecaps? 10.30. <laughs> Cement shoes. We ran a line set all the way there. We have it secured. We got some band iron. Oh, did I miss the... Oh. <sighs> I gotta get the, the black tape so it doesn't the metal doesn't touch the copper. All right, and we got it secured all the way over there. Now, I'm gonna show you guys the low voltage wiring. Okay, make, I'm trying to make this clean as possible. But this wire, eight wire, is to my thermostat, this is to my condenser, and this is to my float switch, which I secured right there. Now, here is my wiring from my air handler. It usually comes out of this hole right here. So I took out the, the rubber grommet, I mean the plastic grommet for the, holds the wires there, and I pulled them all throughout, and I cut the little zip tie that was right there. And I took the sticker that was wrapped around all the wires, and I mounted inside there. So now all of my control wiring for a low voltage side is inside here. First thing I do is I make sure that all my wires are 100%, make sure there's no like kinks or like little gouges where the insulation is missing off the wiring. You can see they're all in good shape, all right? Now I take my flow switch and I like to break R. The reason why I like to break R is because if there's a problem and there's water in the condensate uh, pan, the homeowner is gonna see that immediately rather than a day or two later when re they realize, oh, there's something wrong with the air conditioner. Yeah, when, it's right? nice and hot. when it's nice and hot and you're spitzing like a mom's. Room. Okay, and we have our label maker. I'm gonna make up one label. Oh, we need uppercase shift. C, oh, what the hell? C, O, come on, caps. C, O, N, V, E, N, S, E, condenser. See that? Condenser, and I hit print. Let's print, there it is. And we're gonna label that wire, which is right here, condenser even though you can follow it but in case we're not here doing servicing we saw the next guy knows what's going on okay mm -hmm. now so i had, took my red wire which is r and i took one line to my float and the other one coming back from the float and that gets wired to my thermostat okay right there see that i am going to use the following wires i'm going to use this orange wire for white uh y2 the blue for common the green for fan the white, I'm gonna make my uh, B wire or OB wire. Yellow is Y1, and then this brown, I don't need, okay? And here, I have my Y wire, my common, and then my OB wire, heat pump wire, reversing wire. I only need three wires going to that condenser. So we're gonna tuck the rest of them away and wrap them around there. Okay, it looks a little intimidating, but let's start with my condenser wire. I have a Y which goes to Y and Y, or Y1 and Y1, right? Y1 thermostat, Y1 condenser. There's only one Y going to the condenser. It just needs a signal to turn on, right? My other side of my condenser, I took the white wire and I'm making that the OB wire, or the reversing wire for the heat pump, and I hooked it up to the blue wire, which is B from the air handler, and the white wire, which I, which I made OB coming from the thermostat, okay? So that puts the condenser good to go, with the exception of our common, which is the blue wire, I went to blue to thermostat, and the brown is common right there. See that? Very easy. That takes care of that. The condenser is done. Green to green, that's for fan control. Green air handler, green thermostat. I made the orange wire going to thermostat Y2. Purple is Y2. And then we have left is the two reds going to the float switch. I'm gonna to try to tuck all these wires in there, put a little zip tie in there, and they're out of the way. The remaining wires, Y1, Y2, which is black and white, 
and DH. These, these are not being used, so we're gonna cap and seal them because they're not being used. Thermostat, RC, OB, green, fan control, second stage cooling, first stage cooling, common, boiler power, boiler heat, RW, RH. Nice and neat. Turn the switch on. The switch. Top of the air handler. Oh, tell me when. Whenever you're ready. Oh, I'm ready now. Okay, turn it on. What? I think the nest is dead. Hold the big black thing. Oh God. Okay, let's make sure oh we're actually good this week. Okay, voltage R and C. Nope. Oh. Well, what the, what's up with what that? Are you even touching this here? I thought I was. So let's do it there. Huh? Dead. No, no bueno. Damn. Did you do something wrong, Pipe? I guess I did. Let's go see. Let's shove it back in the hole. Okay. Do, do, do. Did we actually check to make sure the there's power to the air handler? Hold on, let me flip the switch the other way real quick. flipped. Yeah. It's in the off position. It was already in the on position before then. So it was already on? Yeah. So let's go check again. He had it in the on position the whole time. That's very good. Well, you could have said, hey, it was on already. Let's see. Any voltage? No. Oh. No. Can't be. Can't no be. way. No mas. No. Nothing. No bueno. No bueno aquí. Puppy. Oh. Right. What'd you do? Damn. What'd you done do? Power's off, right? <laughs> wah, 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 wah. That's on you, not me. <laughs> oh, man. That's a big one. That's a oops. Oopsie daisy. All right, let's fix type. Uh, is there anything that you would like to say to your audience? <laughs> Suck it! All right, wire is done now. Power's on. Let's go back to the thermostat. RC. I smell toast. I kind of like these little connectors they have in the nest. Yeah. Let's see. Basura. Nest. Garbage. Let's see. Which it only goes in one way. Where's she at? You agree? Oh. She's flashing. Ooh. I'm on you. To G. Google. Let's see. We're gonna go through the wiring. Now, now, that, now instead of just tra tracking, you know, where you drive to every day, it's also gonna track where you like temperature at. What? What's good? It's I don't good. know. <laughs> Too early to tell. Oh, why'd you touch it? Look. Oh. It needs to think. It's like, a, it's like an eco bean to spread its wings. I was telling it to hurry up. Yeah, good luck with that. It's only 11.04. I just ordered two. Huh? I just ordered pies. I just opened pies. Pies? Yeah. Pizza pies? Pizza pies. Oh, don't touch it. Oh. We need to program it. <laughs> don't touch it. Proceeds to touch it. <laughs> no, you don't want to. Oh, settings. Okay, let's go to brightness. Click sound. Date and time. Oh, 7-Eleven. See? Yeah. Full disclosure. Oh, his time is way off. No, not really. Oh, it, didn't it just say 10-something? I don't know. It just did. Maybe. Let's go to the videotape. We went to the videotape, and sure enough, it said 10-42. Okay, language, Nest app, network, lock, right. equipment. Okay. 
So we have Y1. It doesn't really see Y2. So it sees a wire there, right? We have heat pump, we have power, we have RH common in there. So we have to fix this. Power, wire, RH detected. No connection to equipment. So it sees that, but it doesn't. Is the boiler switched off? No. Uh, no, it wouldn't no, be. The boiler's not. Oh. Let's uh, continue. Done. Your system: heat pump, heating, auxiliary heating, heat pump, cooling, fan. Continue. Let's do heat type. We have what kind of heating do you have? Radiators. Heat pump. We know it needs to be on B, which is less common. But it's a Bosch. They're special. I think that's what it was. Use the heat pump compressor when the outdoor temperature is over. Ooh, negative 25 degrees. Don't really jack up his electric bill. No, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Negative 25 degrees. That's when it'll turn off. All right, let's set that for 30 degrees. Is it 30? What do you want to do? Let's do... Maybe three, I don't know, 40, 40, 40? 40? 40 degrees? Yeah. Size, size, so oh, under 40, the, the boiler's going to run. Under 40, the boiler will run. But below, uh, that's fine. Actually, no, it's 40 and under. 40 and under. Because the, the question is... Use the heat pump compressor when the outdoor temperature is above. Not at or above, but above. See, I learned how to read the question specifically at this wow. class I took. It only took you, what, almost 50 years there, Pipe? No, shh, I'm not that old. Come on. So we're going to do 40. So that's about 20 wants. Actually, it stops at 32 degrees. Well, that's what you're getting. Hold on. Get 32. 32. doesn't go anymore. See, no mass. No mass that heat. So right, hit done. Compressor minimum temperature should... Only be used if UX controls an auxiliary heater. Confirm. Use the heat pump auxiliary heat when the outdoor temperature is below. Okay, so this is a good question. Use the heat pump auxiliary heat when the out... No, we want that. Change that. When it's below 40. Damn, wrong way. <laughs> Or what did it say? 32 before, right? 32. Done. Done. Okay. Done. Let's turn the fan on. Turn it. Fan. Turn on. Turn to set. Not bad. Only 75 in here. But it's like the same temperature in the attic, too. Oh. I heard a click. Let's go see. And there she is, she's running. She's blowing. There she blows. Oh, you know what you could do now? Put that thing back together. Get some screws, screw gun. Yep. Put the return plan back in. All right, now, I'm just gonna take some of my condensate neutralizing tabs, throw them in there. Little green tablets that are gonna help neutralize the condensate. What do we got here, what is this? Little foreign debris. It's gonna help neutralize the condensate and that's gonna help keep my condensate drain lines clear. All right, got a new clear condensate trap there with the brush. Very nice, we're gonna have nice clean flowing condensate here. I still gotta cap off these wires right there at the W1, W2, and DH, which is not being utilized. We'll clean this up a little bit. Other than that, we're blowing. Very, very nice. Christian Air Force Nun is putting back the plenum, sorry, the filter, filter grill box, Just shoving that into the hole. He's getting that. He's going to secure that in. And let's take a look at what, what Daniel's doing. <laughs> what are you doing? How's your hole? Bam, Ollie. All right. If you're looking for prompt professional, reliable, and courteous service, give me a call at 516-348-6300. Located at 80 East Hawthorne Avenue in Valley Stream. If we're in your service territory, I would love to help you out. Okay, now, 
Let's take a look. Don't forget the surge protector. Yeah, I know. I have to do it on the Good. There's no room. Even though he has a whole house surge protection, we're still going to add it because it offers even an additional level of security to this very, very, very epic and expensive Bosch heat pump condenser. As you can see, we have the new line set covers in place, heaters on the ladder, on a, an approved OSHA ladder with a proofed setback off of the structure, All right? You need proper angle of attack. Learn that. One of the 1,700 books I have to bring with me when I take my tests in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina in just less than two weeks. Actually, less than three weeks. Today is the 11th. Yeah. Making a weekend out of it. Bring the wife down to Myrtle Beach, hang out, you know. Too bad there's not a Four Seasons there because then it'll really be epic or Rich Carlton. But you know what, Daniel? By the end of this year, I am going to have epic Delta status. <laughs> I'm one trip away from platinum. No, from diamond. And then it's platinum. Don't worry. As, as I promised, when you get married, I am going to send you on a trip to Hawaii for your honeymoon. Would you actually? Yeah, I, told, I promised that. When I came back from Hawaii last year, I promised you guys, you weren't, I don't think you were working yet, Peter. No. And I said, Mike, if you ever get married, and I told you when you get married, I am going to pay for your trip to Hawaii. Yeah. So, here we go. There is the disconnect switch that we've been using now, disconnect panel. It has a built-in circuit breaker there, which breaks L1, L2. I think it looks much better than having to put one, your, your left hand behind your back and using your right hand to, to pull the disconnect and reattach it, right? Because it's proper safety techniques. So you like making your own whips too, don't you? Oh, yeah, it's a new whip that you're making. Yeah. You like that, huh? It's okay. You prefer the pre-made whips? It would be nice if I wasn't working with the super rolls. I know, because that's, you know, you live, you learn, now you know. You buy a spool of wire, unless you're like, like that, that's kind of, it's hard. I know. You, I showed you my wire reel. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show them the my wire reel. Guys, you want to see my wire, my wire reel? I'm going to show you anyway, even if you say Use no. box. Don't you get, don't you like shit bricks with those things? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> like rocks. Like rocks. All right. This is what I got. Look, here's my wire on a reel so I can make my own whips. And there's a roll of liquid tight, half inch liquid tight. See? It's a little bit of a mess in here right now. That's because the entire old R22 system, as well as the shipping material for the new Bosch IDS equipment, is in my truck. But we managed, didn't we? All right, we are done with low voltage wiring. There's our disconnect, it's off. We're gonna throw in a little strap right here because it's code. Not here though, South Carolina it's code, put a strap right there. Here's our rector seal, the RSH50 surge protector, which gets wired to L1, L2, same way you have power, L1, L2. Here is our low voltage wiring, the blue is our O and B wire, the reversing valve. The yellow wires is to turn on contactor, which is one of these things. And we have our brown, no, sorry, our brown to blue, which is common. And the white wire we're not using, let's just get rid of a little bit of extra crap that's in there. See, okay, nice and clean. And there's all that good stuff right there. With a little outdoor ambient temperature probe right there. It's very nice. Daniel made an attempt at making this look nice and pretty. Attempt. Attempt. Failed miserably, but you'll get it eventually. All right. Nice job with the Harris Stay Clean with the Stay Bright 8. It's good stuff. And there we have it. Very nice. I'm just gonna tell Daniel a little surprise we have for tomorrow. We're in for a treat tomorrow. Why? Tomorrow, we are not only installing a Bosch three-ton IDS 2.0 heat pump condenser, but we're installing it on top of a Bosch oh, yeah, high-efficiency gas-fired furnace with the Bosch evaporator coil. 
The one that Daniel Tang wishes he got instead of the carrier. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't he feel like a dumb, num, a numb nuts? Who buys a carrier furnace with a boss? The, the best money can buy. My neighbor's thinking about doing it. A Bosch? Yeah. Nice. Bosch. Remember, you sell the job. Cha-ching! He doesn't like to spend money. He doesn't like to spend money. Well, you got to have to... You know what? You got to learn how to milk the cow. You got to get on your hands and knees sometimes and just milk those udders. Milk them. <laughs> you don't work for your last company anymore. Get get that th those evil thoughts out of your mind. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, hashtag let's go Bosch. Hashtag love Bosch. And if don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. And especially if you want to become a moderator of the channel and earn yourself a magical blue pipe wrench next to your name when you comment in the live stream or one of the videos, make sure you smash that dollar sign and do it now. Daniel? Yes? I swear you better make it look like it's tits. I said a street elbow. What is this? What are you just doing? Oh, you cut it. Oh, and that one continuous piece going into it? No, because it was too short. It was only uh, this much longer. All right. But I have to go to three-quarter anyway, so. Whatever. No, this is a regular elbow. Chris likes Coke. No. No, it's during the day. And now if the job was over and I had a chauffeur yeah, take me home in my Bentley, that would be the... What? Yeah. You, you, you know you have them? I don't know if I have all the mics shot. I don't know if I have all You see how nice and titched the line set is? Make sure it looks nice and titched, too. You got this? Yeah. Okay. All right. 12, 14. Let's see how Daniel's doing up here. Nice line set. Nice turn there. Very nice. He's got the three eighths left to do. Goes across and all the way to there. It's very nice. It's 84 degrees in the house. We got to get them AC. While Daniel is working on the three eighths, just want to give a special shout out to the folks at Bosch Thermal Technology. Thank you so much for sponsoring the channel. If you would like a Mikey Pipes Let's Go Bosch Summer 2022 t-shirt, we got some available. Extra large, none left. But if you're a 3X or a 2X, we got you covered. If you're a little baby little guy, like a little bit smaller than Daniel. We'll throw you some mediums. Details in the description box down below. Minimum donation of $23 is appreciated to cover costs and postage and handling. So as you can see, Daniel is positioning the 3 8 liquid line filter dryer. straight okay very nice it's making it perfect because we believe in perfection and perfection here at pipe doctor equals tits perfect generally <laughs> wow look at those nice fancy bends just checking out the mikey pipes whatsapp group chat and daniel pang responded to that photo. Is he making fancy bends again? Yep, he sure is. And now he's using the Sabrite 8 to make those connections. And if you're interested in joining the WhatsApp group chat, well, here's the QR code, guys. Scan that into your phone and join the chat. It's a private code, so share it with someone you can... Share it with someone? And they'll join the chat. There it is, the QR code. You'll see right now, Daniel's using the, by the Harris Corporation, the Stay Bright 8. We don't have to braze, which means we don't have to slow nitrogen through the system. He's using a standard D tank, but we're not using our typical solder. We're using Stay Bright 8, special safety flux. It really, really does a nice job. All right, one less contaminant to worry about. So we've got the 3 8 
liquid line secured going into the air handler. And there's our liquid line filter dryer. Now he's gonna pull down the remaining bit of insulation to cover up the rest of the line going back to the condenser. Look at that, just slide right over there. Just like Daniel's gonna slide into your girl's DMs. Look at that, beautiful. Look at that, guys. That is absolute tits. Absolute tits. Great job, Daniel. All right, it is 12.42. We're done in the attic, with the exception of one thing. One thing left to do. The cover's on, screwed in. Got my sticker there, sorry, magnet. Installed date. There it is. There it is. If you ain't testing, you're guessing. Look, that's me. Next to the Bosch IDS 2.0 condenser. Hashtag love Bosch, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. Say hi, mom. Hello, mom. <laughs> Say hi, mom. Hey. What's ahead of you, mom? I don't know if she can watch videos in prison. <laughs> uh, All right, right now we are in the vacuuming process. We have the Hilmer pump here. We are at 84.2 microns. All right, very nice, very nice. And I think we're good to go. It's 50 foot line set, right? You're 47 foot line set. Because we cut off three feet here. Did you cut off anything inside? Yeah, well, I cut off, but I put on that three. You cut off what you feet. put back on. So you're a 47 foot line set. Okay. So 47 minus 15, because 15 is the factory charge that comes with the condenser. 32. So we need 32 Nine. feet of refrigerant. Six. So 32 times 0. 0.6 ounces per. 10, 20, 30, so it's 6. 18 ounces. 18 ounces. So we're doing the weigh-in method based on actual line set distance. All right. So we need 36 ounces, which is two pounds. All right. 16 ounces in a pound. 18 ounces. 18 ounces in a pound. 6, 12, 18. Six ounces for every 10 feet. Oh, okay. How many ounces do we need? 18. So we need a pound. 18. And there it is. There's a 410A on top of the LE Tech scale. Well, this is your second Ellie Tech scale. Keeping it real, even though Ellie Tech is a Mikey Pipes YouTube channel sponsor. But they didn't give you this one. Yeah, they didn't give us this, but we bought it because of the relationship with Ellie Tech. We got it at a discount. And the first one died after only less than one season. Less than one full season. So you're on your second one. We, we, we did a F Jeff Bezos. We bought one and returned it. I still have to send it back. You got to make sure you send I it back. figure out what to do because the remote control is different. Oh. Maybe How much was the scale? 80 bucks. Okay, don't just throw it in the garbage. <laughs> if the scale was only $80, throw it in the garbage. <laughs> it may be more, but I thought it was around that. Yeah? Pull it up. Let's look. What does Amazon say? $140. $140. You know what? For $140, throw it in the garbage. It's not worth risking your Amazon buying, buying account getting suspended. We know You know what you're talking about, right, Christian? You know what you're talking about. I know, too. You effed me. All right, and in case you're wondering, what is on Daniel's leg right there? It is not lesions because he has the hiv. No, no, sir. He got burnt on his pocket bike. A mini bike. Mini bike that runs on gas. You burnt your you burnt your your leg on the carb, didn't you? Show a picture. Okay. Show a picture. Let's see pictures. We got to feed the people because they're hungry. Don't, I don't see any nude selfies. I don't have that. <laughs> Wow, very nice. And it goes fast too, huh? Yeah. You put a Harbor Freight Tools uh, engine on it. Go back. Damn, like Speedy Gonzalez, the fastest mouse in the South. <laughs> All right, so we closed it, chopped the 400. Did it go above? Did no. we keep going climbing? No, it, still, it, it, went, it goes down. All right, so let's close the valves. We did do a pressure test already. So the valves are closed. 163, 165, 66, 67. All right, we'll see where that settles up at. And when we have a good, good and confident micron reading, we're gonna dump the chart. All right. Power 
Is oh, the on? breaker. Is the breaker on? Oh, we got you on the breaker on. Oh. It's good because I get to show you. It's cool. Oh, look. It's me. I actually put this in a couple years ago. Indirect. We got the webstone, thermostatic mixing valve, the shutoff valves on both sides, temperature. Very nice. See? That's my circulator. All right. AC 40 amp. There it is. It's got this cool by Intermatic surge protector. Look at this. See that? And if one of these blow, you just pop them out and put it back in again. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty epic. Okay. We're running. Tell me. Be honest with me, guys. Ladies and gentlemen in the YouTube community watching this video right now. Do you really and honestly hear this run? Oh, you switched the panel to show it off, huh? Oh, I love Bosch. I would make love to you if I could. If I was a mechanical, like, robot. Oh, my God. Very, very nice. So right now we're doing the startup and commissioning of the system. One of the things we have to wait for is the system to get to the right frequency. Right, and inside, behind the hood, we're gonna see a little LED display right there. Right now it's reading 82. I don't know if you guys can see it clearly on the video. All right, oh, it's running temperature right now? Okay, 82 degrees. I can't read the frequency. It's gotta run for 10 minutes. And when we do that, we're gonna hit the force button. All right, and it's gonna tell us the frequency of the system. And once we're at the proper frequency, then we're going to properly charge this machine. So let's give that 15, 20 minutes. And we're going to pause for a quick commercial break. Go. Guys, it's Connor with D&D Service and Sales in Port Orange, Florida. One of the most competitive dealers in the Central Florida area offering cash and buy here, pay here financing. And guys, just remember, if you miss two consecutive payments, we will happily put you back on your feet. Oh. Love you. Take care. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, if you need, if you have a job, you will be approved. Go to D&D Auto Sales in Port Orange, Florida. Remember, if you miss two consecutive payments or more, he will happily put you on your feet again. Ain't that right, Connor? That is right, kids. Don't miss those payments. I'm finding you. That's right. That's right. Now, back to our originally scheduled program. Well, you know, I, I hope you enjoyed the commercial to the 40,000 plus subscribers. That's going to be uh, $1,500. That's the 1200 $1,200. 1200 the... We'll give them the friends and family yeah, right. Fr family friends discount. 1200 bucks for a 15 second commercial. Well worth it. Yep. Well worth it. <laughs> okay. Our system is on. As you can tell by those pressures, we're running out right now at 53, frequency of 53. Press that force button to force it into high fire. Okay, a little side T comes on right there. And we're just gonna wait for this thing to finally ramp up and make sure that we weigh in the exact charge that we need and everything else falls into place. God damn green flies. Look at this mother effer right there. See him? He's a green fly. He, he lands on you, he bites you, you got a welt. You're done. Oh, you got a welt. That's what that was. I had a welt earlier. It doesn't go away in a day or two. It takes like a week for it to go away. Uh, These we'll horse see. flies. All right, there is the beautiful Bosch IDS five ton heat pump condenser. Beautiful, beautiful European engineering. I gotta tell you, engineering at its finest from these Europeans. And a special thank you to Bosch Thermal Technology, thank you for being the only corporate sponsor that's a manufacturer besides Ellie Tech. Besides Ellie Tech to the YouTube channel. Thank you so much, guys. Remember, hashtag love Bosch down in the comment section down below. How much was that little attachment? Like $40. Damn. Look at that. Look at that. Nice though. It is nice. A little right angle attachment. And then I can 40 get bucks. Here. Drilling her. He's drilling her. Daniel. Chris, the green fly on your back. Oh! oh, oh there it is. The green fly got you. That's $100. No, $100. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
They ain't messing around those green flies, I tell you. I don't think we can come back to this neighborhood for any time. I know, not at least not in the summertime. The problem is it's July. It's like the first week of July into August. Forget about it. And this guy thinks he's putting a pool in his backyard. He has no idea. He's going to go out there, and he's going to have a whole other set of titties because every time they bite him, he's going to leave like, like little miniature tits. You know? You can put an enclosure around it. Like a glass enclosure. Yeah. What are you, uh, Hugh Hefner? Or uh, Warren put Buffett? A screened in enclosure. Oh, man. Yeah. That's screen nice. in enclosure, like in Florida. Yeah, those are nice. Yeah, those are nice. Until you know, right. like one of your kids put a hole through it, and yeah, it but... cost you a thousand dollars for a square this big. I know it's <laughs> retarded. Thank you so much for tuning in. There's one thing left to do here, and that's to put my own personal label onto it. it doesn't look like me. Minus twenty pounds. I think it does. Forty, but all right. Twenty. Come on. I'm not. <laughs> I only got. I only like three months. You've prior. got twenty right here. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna take this sticker. Right? Because I'm one of the biggest Bosch ABC contractors in the metropolitan New York area. Right there, Bosch. That's it. So we're going to put this on here right there. Bosch on the Bosch. Everyone's going to know. Everyone's going to know is that pipe dock to put this in. And this job really came out tits. It really came out tits, ladies and gentlemen. You don't even know what's on. It's quiet. It is. It's quiet. Look at that beautiful, yeah. beautiful, sexy Bosch. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Chris, what time is it? Mm. It's pool time, bitch! It's 1.37. It's 1.37. We have to dump the shit at the shop, and then we have to run one service call. That's only because Mike is uh, banged in today. Well, so He's got the China, China slit up in him. It's not pool time. And I feel like I'm driving around in circles with green flies. Oh, man. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in to this live premiere. Thank you to the entire community for your support. I really, really, really appreciate it. We're going places. We're going places, guys and girls. It's a lot of fun. Hope you guys are going to stick around. A special thank you to Bosch for being our corporate manufacturer sponsor to the channel. Thank you. Love Bosch. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. And remember, Sharing is caring. I love you. You love me. We're one big happy family. I'll catch you in the next one. Until next time, be well. God bless. Stay safe.